In this portion of the video, we're going to explain how to create a group address in uh, WinLink Express. Now, this group address can be used to send the same message to a group of people, uh, and it doesn't matter whether you are using it in a peer-to-peer -peer session or in a regular WinLink session. So in WinLink Express, go to the Settings menu, go down to Group Addresses, and click on that. Now, I already have one group created here for our peer-to-peer -peer group, but I'm going to, just for demonstration purposes, create a new group. So we're going to click on Add Group. First thing you have to do is give it a group name. So I'm just going to call this the ECRO Emergency Coordinator Radio Officer Group. And then down in this window, uh, make sure you note this instruction here. Separate all, com uh, all call signs with a space or a semicolon. And we're just going to use a space. I'm going to put in our county emergency coordinator, K8RO, and an adjacent county's emergency coordinator, W8COP. Now, I could add more to this, but uh, we're just doing this for a demonstration. So we're going to save that. And now you see I have two groups here. The, the first one is ECRO, and the second group name is P2P for our peer-to-peer -peer group that meets on Thursdays. So all I have to do is save and close that group. So now, when I create a message, I go up here to Message, New Message. If I click the To field, I can select either one of these groups. Let's say I want to send this message to the ECRO group. I double-click that. And all it puts in the uh, To field is the name of the group, ECRO. Now, it doesn't matter if this is going to be a WinLink message, which is selected here in the Send As. It selects WinLink by default, and it, or it doesn't matter if it's a peer-to-peer -peer message. Now, the way WinLink handles this is different. If it's a peer-to-peer -peer session or a peer-to-peer -peer message or a WinLink message. And let me, let me demonstrate. I'm going to create a WinLink message, and we are going to address it to the ECRO group. Our subject is going to be test message, and the text is just going to be test. Now, if I post this to the Outbox, post to Outbox, you'll see there's only one message in the Outbox. If I open this message, I'm going to see that they put both call signs in the two field that are in that group. But it just created a single message addressed to both call signs. That's because this was a WinLink message. So that means this message will only be sent during a regular WinLink session where I'm connected with a WinLink RMS or CMS station. When they receive this message, they are going to create individual messages for each of those stations. Each of those stations then, when they receive the message, can do a reply, and they can do a reply to the originator, or they can do a reply all and reply to the originator and the, other mess and the other recipients of that same message if they select reply all. Very similar to how you do an email. Now, let's, let's do this a different way. We're going to go to the outbox, and I'm going to delete this message that we just created that was a WinLink message. We're going to do the same thing, only we're going to make this a peer-to-peer -peer message. So we're going to select peer-to-peer. And over here, I'm going to go to the To field, and I'm still going to select the ECRO group. And it just puts the group name. And again, it's just going to be test and test for this demonstration. Now, when I post it to the Outbox, note the difference. Post it to the Outbox. Now, there are two messages in the Outbox. There's an individual peer-to-peer -peer message addressed to each of those stations individually. Where in a WinLink session, there was just one message that was addressed to both stations. Now there are two messages, and each message is addressed to that individual station. Let me open the other message here to W8COP. You'll see it's just an individual message addressed to that station. Reason is, in a peer-to-peer -peer session, you are contacting an individual station, uh, and the messages will only go to that individual station that are addressed to the station you are connected to. So if I connect to W8COP in a peer-to-peer -peer session, it will only send that message for W8COP. It won't send the message 
that is for K8RO. Uh, the message to K8RO is also a peer-to-peer -peer message. The only way that message will be sent is if I connect to K8RO in, in a peer-to-peer -peer session and send that message directly to him. So for multiple addresses, for multiple addresses in a group address in a peer-to-peer -peer session, you must connect to each of those stations individually. Now, if I am the host station on, a, on one of our Thursday peer-to-peer -peer sessions, what I do is I address one message to the peer-to-peer -peer group and um, and again, I'm just doing a test message here. Now this is a, we're gonna make this a peer-to-peer -peer message. So it's addressed to the peer-to-peer -peer group. And I think there's like 13 or 14 stations in that group now. Uh, we'll notice the outbox over, over here is empty. So let's post this to the outbox. Now you'll see the outbox has 16 messages in it. There's an individual message to each of those stations, an individual peer-to-peer -peer message to each of those stations. It's all the same message but they are individual messages to each of these stations. That way, if I'm the host station and I'm gonna stay on our peer-to-peer -peer group for the entire host period of two hours, I can get my station set up, get it running. There'll be a message there for each of the stations and it's up to them then to connect to me. If they connect to me, I will receive any messages that they have for me and then I will send the message in my outbox that's addressed to the station that connected to me, if there is a message in the, in the outbox for them. I don't have to be here to monitor that while it's happening. I don't have to be here to do anything uh, manually to cause that to happen. If they connect to me, they will get their message in a peer-to-peer -peer session. Now, uh, let's do one other thing. I'm gonna go back and create another new message. And I'm going to create a message to WHCOP. It's going to be test and test for the text, for the subject and the text. But this is going to be a WinLink message. I'm going to leave it a WinLink message and I'm going to post this to the outbox. Now you'll see the difference here. This is the WinLink message. You'll see it just has a call sign. It doesn't have the P2P in parentheses afterwards. Now let's say we're doing our peer-to-peer -peer session on Thursday and WHCOP connects to me in a peer-to-peer -peer session. The only message, there's two messages addressed to him. There's this one, and then down here somewhere, there's another one, there it is. But this one's the peer-to-peer -peer message. This is a WinLink message. This peer-to-peer -peer message, let me resize that a little. This peer-to-peer -peer message is the only one that my station will send to him during our peer-to-peer -peer session. It won't send the WinLink message up here because that can only be sent in a WinLink session with a WinLink CMS station. So the session that you're opening has to agree with the message type that you want to send. If you're opening a peer-to-peer -peer session to send a message, the message has to be a peer-to-peer -peer message for, that, for the station that you open the session with. If you're opening a WinLink session, you can send messages to any stations as long as they are WinLink messages and not peer-to-peer -peer messages. Now let's uh, let's do something else. I'm going to open a WinLink HF Vera WinLink session here. Let me reposition this window kind of in the middle of the screen. Now this opened a WinLink session, now, but you see this button here. You can switch from a win link to a peer-to-peer -peer session just by clicking that, clicking that button, and that will switch you over to a to a peer-to-peer -peer session. So you don't have to go over here to the open session options and scroll through here and find either WinLink HF Vera or uh, WinLink peer-to-peer -peer session in this pick list. Uh, basically, I just leave mine on Vera HF WinLink. I'll open a session here. And then from the session window, if I want to go to peer-to-peer, -peer, I'll just click that button in the session window and switch it to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. If I want to switch back to WinLink, or there, I'd switch to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. If I want to switch back to a WinLink session, I can switch it over to WinLink session. 
Now, let's show you one other thing. Our Thursday sessions are always on the same frequency right now. The center frequency is uh, uh, 3589.5. Uh, the dial and its upper sideband, the dial frequency is 3588, upper sideband. Now, something else I want to show you. If you have, uh, if you have a rig interface, and you want to save another preferred frequency uh, for a peer-to-peer -peer session, uh, and it can even be for a windlink session, but probably, probably more useful in peer-to-peer -peer sessions because the windlink frequencies are already are already part of the uh, software package. But let's say our uh, our center frequency is going to be 35, 55.5. When we enter that in the center frequency window, it's automatically going to calculate what the dial frequency needs to be. And if we want, we can add that to our favorites. Uh, let's see here. All I have to do is add a call sign to go along with it. And let's say I'm going to make that K8EO. Let's say our my county emergency coordinator is Ted, K8EO. And let's say we want to have a frequency where we occasionally get together to uh, exchange messages. So I can put his call sign in there and I can click add that to favorites and click OK. Now in the favorite pick list over here, we're going to have two. We're going to have one on our Thursday session and another one for KADO. So you can just click on that. It'll automatically set your radio to those frequencies if you have the rig interface. And you can have quite a list of favorites selected there. Now I'm going to go back and remove the one I did just for an example, KADO. I'm going to remove from favorites because we're really probably not going to use that. And now the only favorite is the one for our Thursday session uh, that we have saved. So uh, to show you a little bit on how to create a group address, how to use group addressings, how group addressing works differently in a peer-to-peer -peer session than it does in a regular WinLink session, and how to switch, how to select either a WinLink session or a peer-to-peer -peer session, and how to switch from a WinLink to a peer-to-peer -peer session in the Vera uh, session window. So hope you found that useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below or to shoot me an email at k8bz at arrl.net. Thank you.